Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all students today we're going to um, learn the next example which is shear resistance of a welded end plate to beam connection this example has been uploaded in the Google Classrooms so the objective of this example is for you to calculate the shear resistance of the welded end plate to beam connection it means that in this examples you been given the uh, plate which is welded at both sides to the beam in this case we wanted to know what is the maximum shear that can be resisted by this particular connections given that your height of plate is 240 and the beam is given as 357 with the throat thickness of weld which is 4 millimeter the thickness of plate which is the thickness of this plate is 10 millimeter in this examples okay it's already given the required data for this particular connection whereby the ultimate tensile strength which is grade S275 is 430 correlation factor 0 0.85 throat thickness of weld is 4 millimeter and design shear strength of weld sorry and the partial safety is 1.25 when you do the calculations here okay we are using the simplified approach in which the simplified approach requires that the design resistance which is WFED the design resistance of fillet weld will be adequate if at all points, the design value of the weld, which is force per unit length, this is the design value of the weld in unit force per unit length, is less than or equal to the design weld resistance per unit length. Therefore, in this case, we are required to determine what is the design shear resistance that can be adapted by this um, welding properties. So, to determine that, we need to determine the W, sorry, FWRT, which is the design resistance of weld per unit length, in which design resistance of weld per unit length is given as FVWRD or what we call as the design shear strength of the weld times with the throat thickness and for you to get the design shear resistance it is calculated by adapting these formulations so here in this case all these formulations has been listed here what you need to do you just need to substitute all the given information and you get 233.6 newton per millimeter squared meanwhile once you get that fvwrd okay you need to multiply with the throat thickness in which fvwd is given as 2366 233.6 and times with the throat thickness for you to get FWRD which is design resistance of weld per unit length which is 934.4 so the design resistance of weld per unit length is now 934.4 newton per millimeter squared so in this case the question asks you to determine what is the shear resistance what is the shear resistance that can be resisted by this particular connection 
to get the shear resistance okay you need to multiply the design resistance of weld per unit length by multiply it with the weld length okay so the weld length is 240 minus 28 which is this is the effective length of the weld and effective okay so you get 232 millimeter so in this case your VWRD okay is calculated which is the shear resistance for this particular design is 433 kilo Newton because of this example we don't have any uh, information given on what is the shear that applied to this particular connections so therefore we didn't check for we didn't calculate for FWED alright so to conclude these examples we can now say that for this particular configurations of connections it's supposed to be able to resist the shear resistance of 433 kilonewtons